I finally got around to doing the spoiler review um, of the four YA dystopian series um, two days later. But um, you should have just come from the video review, the link is down below if you didn't, about four um, books I've read that belong to YA dystopian series. Well, three are dystopian, one isn't. And this is the spoiler review. So it's going to be chock full of spoilers um, if you're watching this video to see or uh, to hear about a certain book in the description box below it will describe um, the time when each review will begin on each book okay so the first book I'm talking about is A Million Sons by Beth Revis that's the second book in the uh, Across the Universe series and as I said in the spoiler for review I thought this book was much better than the first one it was just so much more kind of complex and darker and um, I enjoyed it a lot um, it was darker in that there was lots of hard decisions for Elder to make um, the, every passenger kind of reverted to that you know basic, basic survival instincts and human nature went crazy um, I felt so much anger in this book towards those rebelling passengers and oh my god Barty it was so lousy what he was doing to um, Elder, like Elder was trying his best to be a good leader and Barty just kept undermining him and, rat and like rattling everyone to make them even more violent and I was getting so angry at, it, at him because he was just kind of making things worse. I really enjoyed reading with the Amy Elder relationship in this book. Like. In the first book it was just, you know, a nice teen romance, kind of. But in this one, it, you know, it had more depth, uh, a little bit more complex. Um, like their feelings for each other aren't as straightforward. Maybe for Elder they are, but um, Amy still had a bit of thinking to do. I hope in the next book, you know, they can finally, you know, get it together and realise that, you know, they love each other. I think Elder kind of knows. Um, but in, in case the next book, you know, it doesn't work out, I hope Elder doesn't resent Amy for that. Um, and, you know, the plot kept on going, it kept getting exciting, and w once you thought things were kind of finally settling down, there was an explosion, and then there was another explosion, and it was really sad when that, um, I can't remember her name, the female shipper one died, and another one, you know, was flying out into space, and Elder had to close the door, that was kind of sad. Um, and then I wasn't expecting the end. I didn't think they were actually going to land on the planet in this series. And the next book they're actually going to go on to this new kind of Earth. And um, it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be completely different to the um, first two books. So I'm excited for that now. And, you know, it's not going to be easy. I know that. There's probably like monsters and cannibals and everything there. Um, as I said, I, I just hope uh, Elder doesn't resent Amy for it and everyone else, and um, I hope there's a bit of a happy ending, because I think it's just a trilogy, so the next book would be the last. But yeah, so um, I really enjoy The Billion Sons, and I hope you do too. Okay, so the next book I'm going to talk about is The Pledge by Kimberly Dirkting. And... As I said in the spoiler free review, the first book or the first half wasn't great, it took too long for the plot to be set up. But the second half I did enjoy. Um I didn't like the character of Brooklyn. I loved Aaron, that character. He was just the sweetest guy and I'm so glad he didn't get killed. Um I liked the parents in the book too. You know, really you kinda the parents play a, a good role in him. Kind of teen ways. Um, but I I like the parents in the series. Um, it was so sad, you know. Like every time there was like um, you know, those explosions and the alarms were going off, and they sent Charlie and Angelina off. Like it was, you felt so bad for them because they felt like it was the last time they were going to see their children. Um, but thankfully the parents survived as well. I didn't love Max and Charlie at the beginning when they first met. It was kind of like one of those typical. When they first saw each other, they were in love straight away, and I hate that. I want a relationship to develop, so, and they were kind of overly romantic with the descriptions and everything. But by the end of the book, I really kind of liked them together. I think it was the scene at the very, very end when Charlie was looking out the window, and Max got out of the bed, and he 
kind of put his arms around her and he was like come back to bed or something like that and they just seemed like a really sweet normal couple then so I kind of liked them by that so maybe in the next book I'll even like them more um, I can't wait really to I can't wait to read about how everyone um, treats Charlie now that she's queen. Um, I'm not really sh sure what to think about the queen still being in her head. Actually, I don't really like that part of the story. Um, why can't the queen just die and be gone? Um, but yeah, I hope she doesn't like you know have this multiple personality thing. I suppose it's just the final point. Like this book had its faults, but. By the end of it, I did enjoy it, and I am go I am going to read the next book, and I am looking forward to it. Um, and uh, as I said, I don't know when the second one is out. I looked it up, couldn't find any information, but um, I'll probably wait sometime next year. But yeah, I will read it. So, um, so I, I recommend this book with a little bit of a warning about the first half. Okay, so the third book I'm talking about today or tonight is Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. And I really enjoyed this book. Lots of people reviewed it and they didn't really think it was great. But I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a different take on the whole spaceship dystopian thing. I wasn't expecting what was going to happen because I didn't know what was going to happen in this book. Um, so the fact that you know, the girls and the boys were split up like at the beginning, I didn't really love how Waverly was narrating and Karen were narrating and they were kind of in the same place. But then, as the plot develops, you understand why, because they're both completely different stories almost. And everything with the boys then was, gave me a sense of like Lord of the Flies, kind of anarchy forming with all these kids. And um, I felt such ranges of emotion reading this book, mostly sympathy for the children for losing their parents, sympathy for the parents for losing the children, anger at the New Horizon people and, and mothers for what they did to these people, this ruined their lives and destroyed like everything almost. Um, oh, shock and outrage what was done to Waverly and those girls. Like they were genetically raped on that ship which was just awful. I felt so bad like Waverly just the fact that she was living with a woman who was going to give birth to her, her child and I thought it was just so sad and um, compelling to read. I also felt um, confliction about the whole Seth and Karen issue. I remember in the end when Waverly went to Seth and they kind of formed a little alliance they need to stop Karen from turning into kind of a megamania cult leader like, I understand where they're coming from because, like, they're both traumatised and everything Karen is doing is bringing back awful memories for Waverly, but I don't think they're wholly correct. Like, Seth lied. He's still lying. He says Karen, you know, was a bad leader and ruined everything and thanks to him everything was saved. Whereas not, that's not true. So... Like I see where they're coming from and that caring is go going a little bit like a cult leader but a little bit is rather overreacting. Like I love the first scene with Seth and Waverly when, I, when you first see them together. There was a nice thing there and you could tell Waverly wasn't 100% satisfied with her relationship with Karen. And I hated them when Seth, who I originally liked when I first met him, turned out to be this kind of psychopath and lying to everyone, almost killing her, and then I was like, hmm, I don't really like this character. Um, but then in the end, again, you kind of feel sorry for him. So I think the author really set up these kind of complex, compelling characters who aren't very straightforward, and you have this range of emotions when reading the book. So the second book is out in this series called the Sky Chaser series, um, in summer 2012, and that book was called Spark. So, um... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, and I uh, hope you check it out. Okay, so the final book I'm doing a spoiler review on is Rage by Jackie Morse Kessler. And um, I don't really much spoiler things to say with this book. Um, just that I was really shocked by the um, bullying going on in it. Um, those students in that high school seemed evil, 
what they did to um, poor Missy. Like, when the boyfriend first saw all her scars, he, the first thing he did was run out and go and tell his friends and call her all these names, poor girl. And just when she thinks, you know, she can forgive him, like, he brings her to the bedroom, she strips, and then everyone comes in taking pictures. It was just awful. I mean, if that's how kids are treated over in those high schools, it's just, oh my god, evil. Um, but I did enjoy all the human sides of the book, as I said, and I didn't really love all the stupid supernatural war side of things. Her and Death kind of had some interesting thing going on, but there wasn't enough of it in there. I didn't like the ending, it was quite abrupt to kick off the soccer team, so sad on her, and then she has this kind of battle in her head and she realises she has control and she, she told everyone about her problems, And but the teacher the soccer coach was so mean to her about it, just saying stop doing this stupid thing. Her parents, like after she told them they just kind of went back to working a lot, her sister was so mean to her, um, I kind of wanted her to get more satisfaction in the end a better resolution to the whole story but um I suppose the author didn't want to drag it out too much but yeah overall I did enjoy this book you know aside from the supernatural thing and the ending but um sure let me know what you think of it and uh that's that so that's my spoiler review on those four books um four YA books I just finished the Body Finder series by Kimberly Dirting who was the author of The Pledge which I really liked, so I'll do a review on that sometime soon. And um, so that's that. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy my reviews.